I think that there's a lot of stories that don't need to be subdued. You know, we don't need to be subdued in our grief, in our connection, in um, our excitement. Connecting Community just aims to provide transformational opportunities for people to connect. I started by providing um, spaces for black, indigenous, and people of color to meet and gather and share stories about their families, and it really just evolved from there. Everybody wants to have a sense of belonging, and oh, what I'm really aiming to do is to provide a space for people to really look at our common humanity and really the magic happens when that group gets together. There's a little bit of crying involved usually, there's a lot of laughing that's involved and just commonalities saying, hey, you know, I, I went through that too and there being healing in seeing your story reflected in someone else's. Through listening to these diverse stories, it gives us the opportunity to be able to relate as well as to take a look at how it is that we're showing up and can better support one another. One of the smallest acts that I think we can do is to listen deeply. And when we do that, we're really providing a gift to people to be able to be seen and to be heard. And it's so tremendously valuable. We all have stories, but it's rare that we have the time and space to really unpack some of that. And so to take the time to ask people questions and um, just learn more about what makes them them, it's really powerful. So I think that peace can really happen when we're sharing and connecting, when we are able to voice what's been in our hearts and what we're carrying and being able to just put that out there and share your story because every single person has a story.